Hey there, folks. Welcome to our channel. I'm your host, Vanessa, and today we've got a story that's been making waves in the entertainment world. It's a tale of youthful romance, star-studded connections, and headlines that captured the imaginations of millions. In the world of pop culture, few stories have resonated as deeply as the iconic saga of Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, and Justin Timberlake. So grab your popcorn, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive into the juicy details. As the sun rose on a new day, a new chapter in Britney Spears' life was unveiled within the pages of her latest book called A Woman in Me. The entertainment world is still reeling from the shockwaves, and it's all about to come out. In this raw and courageous memoir, Britney Spears bears her soul, shedding light on her past with unparalleled honesty and vulnerability. It's a revelation that has left everyone breathless. But what's got everyone talking? Well, Britney's memoir is finally shedding light on what happened between Justin Timberlake and her relationship. She's also touching on the topic of infidelity, including none other than the alleged involvement of Christina Aguilera with Justin Timberlake. Turns out, Justin wasn't exactly the saint he portrayed. He cheated on Britney first, not with one but multiple women. And that's not even the juiciest part. One of the women Justin cheated with was allegedly none other than Britney's longtime rival, Christina Aguilera. Hold on though, because there's more to this explosive story. In this captivating memoir, Britney Spears lays bare a deeply personal and heart-wrenching chapter of her life. At the tender age of 19, amidst her whirlwind romance with Justin Timberlake, she faced an excruciating decision, an abortion. With raw vulnerability, she shares the emotional agony and the overwhelming fear that gripped her during this pivotal moment. It's a decision she never saw coming, and her story reveals the poignant, untold side of her journey. Brittany wrote, I love Justin so much. I always expected us to have a family together one day. This would just be much earlier than I'd anticipated. In the face of formidable challenges, she made a choice driven by her respect for Timberlake's emotions. It was a decision that left a profound mark on her own life. She also wrote, but Justin definitely wasn't happy about the pregnancy. He said we weren't ready to have a baby in our lives, that we were way too young. If it had been left up to me alone, I never would have done it. But Justin was so sure that he didn't want to be a father. Now, Britney's long-awaited memoir, A Woman in Me, is finally here, and it's a powerful voice breaking through the silence. Britney is fearlessly confronting all the hardships she's endured over the years, and she's not holding back. Her sights are set on everyone who has wronged her, and that includes none other than Justin Timberlake. For those of us who came of age in the 90s, Britney and Justin were the golden couple of that era. But their relationship behind the glitz and glamour was anything but perfect. To set the record straight, both Justin and Britney admit to being unfaithful to each other. As Britney reveals in her book, there's a striking difference. Only one of them used those mistakes to build a career based on negativity, shame, and victimhood. And it wasn't Britney. After their breakup, Britney took the high road, never publicly bashing Justin, and even continued to speak well of him. In contrast, Justin embarked on a different path, spending years publicly casting shadows on Britney whenever he had the chance. In his infamous interview with Barbara Walters, he portrayed himself as a sweet mama's boy from Tennessee who had been taken advantage of by a Hollywood temptress. Britney, on the other hand, was depicted as the villain, the one who preyed upon the poor, naive Justin. It's worth noting that Britney and Justin were both 19 years old at the time of their breakup. However, the public narrative was far from balanced. Britney received a barrage of negative media attention depicting her as a villain who preyed upon poor, naive Justin. 
Britney's book is peeling back the layers of her heartbreak following her breakup with Timberlake, unveiling shocking details like he abruptly terminated their relationship with a cold two-word text message, it's over. The saga of Britney and Justin is a tale of heartbreak, betrayal, and lingering bitterness that continues to captivate and divide. As Britney says in her memoir, I've been scorned. I've been pissed off. She wrote Cry Me a River in two hours, pouring her feelings into a song that resonated with millions. But this is not the end of the story. Britney's long-awaited book is out, and she's detonated some major bombshells. Among these revelations, Britney disclosed that Justin cheated on her first and pressured her into making a difficult decision about having an abortion the truth is emerging and the world is listening. What's even more heart-wrenching is that Britney found herself in a situation where she couldn't even seek help at a hospital because Justin allegedly didn't want anyone to know that she was pregnant. So she handled the abortion at home by taking pills. Britney revealed that the pain was unbelievable and recalled it as one of the most agonizing things she had ever experienced in her life. To make matters even more painful, Britney later uncovered that Justin had been unfaithful to her with multiple women. Britney openly acknowledges cheating on Timberlake with choreographer Wade Robson, recounting a particular night out. She remembers, we were out one night and we went to a Spanish bar. We danced and danced. I made out with him that night. But despite this one indiscretion, Britney underscores her loyalty to Timberlake. This revelation illuminates the intricate nature of youthful love and the missteps that can occur in the journey of growing up. Britney's book details an incident where Justin was seen with Nicole Appleton, a former member of the girl group All Saints. And then there was another painful discovery when Britney learned about Justin's involvement with a different female singer, whom she opted not to name in her book. However, Britney did drop hints describing the singer as someone who is still very popular and has children now. Fans didn't take long to connect the dots, and many speculate that Britney was referring to Christina Aguilera. Britney did mention Christina in another part of her book when discussing the media's unfair treatment of her following her breakup with Justin. It's a tangled web of heartbreak, secrets, and celebrity drama that's finally being unraveled. In her book, Britney raises profound questions underscoring the profound influence of public perception on her emotional well-being. It's a powerful reminder of the weight that fame and public image can carry in the life of a superstar. As for Christina's response to all of this, before Britney's book was released, Christina appeared on Jimmy Kimmel's show. When asked about her feelings regarding potentially being mentioned in Britney's memoir, Christina tried to maintain a composed exterior, but you could sense that she was quite anxious about the situation. The intrigue and anticipation surrounding Britney's revelations are undeniably palpable. Christina's response was, dude, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this moment. She replied, I'm hoping that everything is all good with her. Everything's beautiful. Jimmy persisted with the question, pressing, if you had to choose between being in it and not being in it, what would you choose? To which she replied, I mean, for real, for real? Kimmel replied, I would like to be in it. Christina then said, maybe you will be in it. Listen, I'd rather it be you than me. However, there were signs of Christina being into Justin Timberlake since day one. During James Corden's carpool segment on The Late Late Show, Christina Aguilera revealed a charming twist to their story. She disclosed that both she and Britney Spears had a crush on Justin Timberlake during their Mickey Mouse Club days, setting the stage for a little love triangle. Britney first met Justin when she joined the Mickey Mouse Club when she was 11 years old in 1992. She described it as, honestly, a kid's dream. Unbelievably fun, particularly for a kid like me, but it was also exceptionally hard work. As fate would have it, Spears and Timberlake did end up dating later on from 1999 to 2002 before parting ways. But the crushes and love triangles didn't stop there. 
The story of their early years adds a delightful layer to the legendary tale of Pop's golden era. So there you have it, folks. The untold story of Brittany, Justin, and Christina. Brittany's long-awaited memoir is out, and she's shedding light on a tumultuous period in her life, exposing some surprising truths along the way. We hope you've enjoyed this deep dive into the pop culture drama of the early 2000s. If you want to stay updated with all the latest pop culture news and juicy revelations, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, turn on that notification bell, and share this video with all your friends who can't get enough of the drama. And be sure to check out our related video for even more exciting content.